Hello DCS World Nation and this is a video of the DCS L39 Albatross for July 26, 2015. And this video is a introduction to the aircraft, particularly for those who bought the pre-purchase or those still on the fence, to give you a, a brief ov overview of the aircraft, but by no means a tutorial or instruction video, given that the aircraft is still in uh, pre-alpha and a lot still can and will change. But we can take a look at what we have for now. Let's do a quick overview of the cockpit. So we have our circuit breakers here, emergency hydraulics, radios, external lights, uh, pitot heat, and so on, electrical buses, our instrument gauge. So we have a uh, airspeed, altitude, radar altitude, ADI, HSI, DME, uh, VVI, bank angle, clock, engine RPM, engine heat, fuel gauge, electrical, and a couple others. And then we have our landing gear handle, landing gear indication, uh, flaps. Uh, this is these red, yellow, and blue are a combination of the APU and engine controls, uh, the throttle, and the oxygen supply. Now if we go to the uh, rear cockpit for the IP, instructor pilot, it's uh, very much like the front cockpit, minus some switches and controls, but the big change we have here is the control panel here, which allows the IP to mimic some aircraft failures for the student pilot up in the front. So back to the front. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, close the canopy. And I'll go ahead and lock it. And we'll seal it. Okay, so let's get this started. So we'll go ahead and turn on the battery. And then the engine inverter to get some of the uh, gauges working. Let's see our fuel start to rise. And now we'll go over here to the Zephyr APU and get that started. And we'll see a light here that will light indicating the Zephyr has spun up and it's safe to start the engine. And there we go. So we'll move the throttle from off to idle start. And the blue button is cover here. It's for the starter. Press that. Here we go. Engine RPM rising. What's that a five doing there? And I'll go ahead and enable both the generators and the inverters. And now the rest of the electrical buses. And once the engine spun up, the uh, Saphir APU shut off automatically. Now we have some, uh, some light functionality already, some of the external lights. You can do, I believe it's solid, yep. Or blinking. I'll turn this off for now. And then up here we have a little floodlight. This is our, our landing takeoff lights. And our instrument panel lights, we can either have white and adjust the brightness, or red for night light. But we don't need these today. Uh, this is the fuel shutoff, and unless there's an engine fire, it's pretty much always in that position. And, oh, we'll set our radar altimeter bug down to zero. And I think we're good to go. So, now taxiing the L-39 is actually a lot like taxiing the MiG-15, for those of you that are familiar with it, in that it doesn't have any nose wheel steering. So instead of what you do is you get the aircraft rolling, and then you use differential tow braking on the left and right main wheels. So, I'm going to set the brake, increase throttle, and release. And here we go. And now what we'll do is we'll steer the direction we want, and then brake. Now 
Yeah, very beautiful model. Yeah, be a little too slow. And yeah, we'll put our flaps to the mid position for takeoff. And once we take off, you'll notice that some of the controls, you know, are not functional quite yet, such as the ADI. And while the L-39 is a very light aircraft, uh, its engine is exactly not the most powerful in the world. So we'll probably rotate about 180 knots. Uh, we'll keep the nose pretty low after takeoff to build up some airspeed. Do a rolling takeoff. And here we go. Get the engine up to about 105 uh, RPM. One hundred fifty. And rotate. Gear up. All red. Flap up. Okay. Passing through about three hundred. We'll follow the highway out here to the west, and then we'll loop back and fly over Creech. Okay, once I get to 400, okay, I'll start getting some altitude. And of course, we can jump to the back seat as well. Actually, a much better view from back here. happy with the work the artist did on the uh, the model uh, beautiful attention to detail texturing lighting yeah jump back to the front and we'll head back to Creech now and generally you want to be at about a hundred and three to 102 uh, engine rpm we get to 105 and 106, we could worry about some overheating at that point. Good evening, Creech Air Force Base. And we'll go ahead and do an implement. Again, slow. Jump back. And 
and for the time I've been flying the uh, Albatross, it's definitely made me appreciate uh, just the amazing flying that the acrobatics teams that use the Albatross uh, can achieve, uh, namely the Breitling team and the uh, Patriots. Just amazing flying those guys do. We'll do one more low pass. And that, my friends, is a introductory look at the DCS L39 Albatross. Now, again, we're you know still very early on this, so you can expect some further updates as we get new features online. We introduce the uh, ZA Light Attack version and other new functionality. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen, and uh, you know by all means, please visit the website at www dot dcs dash world dot com and I hope you enjoyed what you seen. Take care.